Hey guys, welcome back to another Halloween themed video for BS Spooktober. <laughs> Today we are doing another Halloween movie review, and this is for a movie that we had already seen before rewatching, so. This is something we are familiar with. So today we are talking about Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Now, this movie we actually came late to the game with. We hadn't seen it and it had been out and I've heard buzz about it. Did we watch it for the first time last year? Yeah, it was yeah. last year and we we're like, let's watch this. It's on Netflix. It's been here for a long Everybody time. Everybody says it's good. And wow, it was great. And I didn't even know that Alan Tudyk was in it. We love Alan Tudyk <laughs> so much. Firefly OG. So... It, that was a surprise, and this movie in general was a big surprise for us. So this is my perfect flavor of Halloween movie. <laughs> uh, I love Halloween movies that incorporate gore and horror, but also are hilarious. I just love fun in my movies. You probably know that by now if you've watched several of our videos. <laughs> but uh, I just love this so much. It's campy, it's gory, it's hilarious. It's all the good things. Yeah, this movie just has... A ton of humor throughout, the writing is gold, and just the whole concept I think is really funny, and this is going to be a spoiler-free review, but just the way they execute everything, it was just really fresh and a cool take on what is sometimes a stale genre. So this movie is focused on two redneck guys who are going up to a cabin that I guess they're trying to spruce up or something. Mm -hmm. And on their way up there, they run into a group of college kids. Sounds like classic horror slasher film, right? So uh, they go up there and a lot of accidents start happening, which makes these guys look like they are intentionally killing these kids when <laughs> it's really just a weird happenstance. And then there's also a more sinister plot going on underneath all that, which we won't talk about since it's spoilery. But all in all, I had never seen a Halloween movie or a horror movie like this before that uh, had... Oh, Cabin in the Woods is along the same vein. I guess so, but this one came out before Cabin in the Woods. No, it didn't. Oh, did it? It totally did. Sorry. <laughs> so, this one came out before Cabin in the Woods, and it was just such an interesting take because all these things you'd expect, it just continually turned all those like tropes of the genre on their head. It's similar to like <laughs> Scream kind of style. That's true, you yeah. Know? Like the tongue-in-cheek horror, I love it. Which is probably our favorite style, where there's a healthy amount of fun, humor, wow, some scares or some gory, some fun, twisted stuff in there. I also love the performances by everyone in this movie, especially the guys <laughs> who play the two rednecks and a couple of the key college kids. I just think they're all hilarious, and Alan Tudyk is just so funny, and so is the other guy, and it's, they just all perform this extremely well, and it's like Steven said, a really fresh take on like that genre of like slasher kind of film. <laughs> it has a similar flavor to what I believe Friday the 13th is. I've never seen that movie. I've only seen the remake. Don't kill me. I mean, but... it's pretty dark. At least the setting's the same because they're like, I'll buy a lake That's with true. a cabin. Yeah, I think it's kind of touching on that original mm -hmm. kind of horror film, but turning it on its head. Now, even though this movie is sometimes more comedy than horror, it does have those elements and throughout the movie, there's some parts where you're just like, you cringe because something really gory happens. You're like, ugh. But it also gets a little darker there towards the end and brings in a darker element. And that was kind of cool that Tucker and Dale end up actually having to face off against evil. Overall, we think this is an excellent Halloween movie. If you like your Halloween movies to have a flavor of fun, this is definitely one for you. And you should go watch it. It is on Netflix US. So if you live in the US and have access to Netflix, definitely check it out. We obviously really enjoyed this movie. What did you guys think? Let us know down in the comments below if you enjoyed this movie or if you hated it. I think you're weird if you did because I think there's something in this movie hey, for everyone. Hey, everyone opinion. It's fine. But our opinion is the only one that matters. So make sure you comment things that agree with us. Stop. <laughs> I'm just kidding. However, if you guys did enjoy this video, please click that like button and subscribe if you want to see more of our content. We have a ton of Halloween videos coming to you. Lots of movie reviews other spooky things, top fives. It will be a lot of fun. So subscribe, make sure you don't miss any of that. And if you want to see some more of our videos, you guys can click right over there and we'll see you next time. Bye.